What is going on football fans? Back at it with another New York Giants video and in this video we are going to talk about the former standout in the James Betcher defense, Dwayne Buchanan. Buchanan of course was drafted in the first round of the 2014 draft by the Arizona Cardinals and he went on to see a lot of success early on in his career. Really from 2014 to 2017, he was a very good linebacker. His best year was his second year in which he eclipsed over 100 tackles and he played that money backer position beautifully. He was kind of the guy that started the position for Betcher, right? And he had so much success, he was one of the driving forces behind that Arizona defense, which was one of the best in the league just four short years ago. 2016, he was again solid. 2018, last year, he struggled mightily. Probably because of, uh, you know, I think he had some injuries, but more so because Betcher was gone. And he's an undersized linebacker. He only stands at six foot one, I think 211 pounds. And he's not the type of player that can excel at that position in any, you know, in, 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 a, in another system. He fits the Betcher system very well. And that is where he performed at a near Pro Bowl level. level. This year in free agency, I was a proponent of bringing him in on a cheap contract because of his familiarity with James Betcher. The Giants elected to go another route, bringing in a, in a uh, veteran in Antoine Bethea, who has struggled mightily, and the Giants right now have a ton of problems at their linebacker position. Even when they're on the field, I mean, you don't know what you're getting out of those guys. They could use as much step as they could get, and I think Dwayne Buchanan could make a ton of sense for the New York Giants right now as he was just released by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, of course, there's a reason why he was released, and there's a reason why he couldn't get on the football field. Obviously, they didn't think he was good anymore. I mean, at the end of the day, that, that's got to be the fact. He only had one tackle, didn't start any of the first five games, and the Tampa Bay Bucks released him before they headed to London. Now, I don't know all the specificities behind this. Maybe he was complaining by, because he was not getting on the field. Regardless, he is now a free agent, and I'm sure some teams are going to kick the tires on Buchanan. And I think the New York Giants should be one of them. And so does Carl Banks. This is a pretty funny tweet. He says, I'm stating the obvious here, but he and James Betcher are so good together. He is one of my favorites. I will pick him up at the airport if everyone is too busy. Like, seriously, I will. In response to Adam Schefter's tweet, obviously, the Buccaneers released uh, veteran linebacker Dwayne Buchanan this morning before they head to London for Sunday's game against the Panthers for a source. The former Cardinals' first-round pick is expected uh, to get a chance elsewhere. So, there you have it. I mean, somebody's going to pick this guy up, and the New York Giants just make way too much sense. Not to mention all the injuries they have at the position, right? Ryan Conley's out for the year. Alec Ogletree, I think he's going to play this week, but who knows what you're getting there. Tay Davis is an undrafted free agent. I mean, my God, uh, Lorenzo Carter's been banged up. The Giants could use all the help they could get. And Buchanan will bring some familiarity with the system, and maybe he could provide a spark for this defense going forward. He is still only 27 years old. Maybe you get him on a bargain deal, and maybe he shows out. Like I said, he's had a lot of success with James Betcher, and the Giants could use all the help they can get. The New I agree with Carl Banks on this one. I think the New York Giants should be at the airport right now, fitting him for a New York Giants jersey. We're going into the Lions then against the New England Patriots, and we need all the help we can get. Now, he wouldn't play in this game if we signed him, right? He got, he'd probably play in the Arizona Cardinal game if we were to sign him. But the Giants got to take a look at this guy. I've been questioning a lot of the things this team has been doing recently. I, why haven't you picked up a running back? I mean, right now you have one running back on the roster in Hilleman if Barkley does not play. I mean, why did we not bring in a running back? And why would we not bring in Dwayne Buchanan? Giants fans got to ask, them, ask themselves the same question if the Giants at least don't go out there and see what they could potentially have in this guy. Obviously, they didn't think too highly of him as they elected to go with the um, the veteran this year in free agency uh, in Antoine Bethea over Buchanan. But at this point, beggars can't be choosers. You got a veteran out there who's used to playing in your system, much like you did with Marcus Golden, who you brought in a one-year contract. You should do the same with Buchanan. Maybe he's got some gas left in the tank. You have to find out. That's my thought process. As always, if you like what you watch, please subscribe, drop a comment, maybe give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.